possible that some might accuse us of having rose-tinted glasses. But football really was better back in the 70s and 80s. And to prove it, here's some for you now. a rather English football evening. It's cold, it's wet. The police, though, have given a very warm reception to anyone even looking like stepping out of line, and the rain has certainly helped. Predictably include only Paul Miller from Monday's lineup at Southampton. Roberts and Hazard are both fit, and Gary Stevens is preferred to Mavis. And the manager, Keith Birkinshaw, said that he would like an away goal. And the next lineup shows that it's not only Tottenham who have personality clashes at the moment. Paul Van Hintz has again left out his captain, Frankie Verkalperen, after a discussion about fitness. He's also decided he needs two markers for Falco and Brazil and has switched Hopkins to play on Galvin's flank. But it's the team which started against Nottingham Forest in the second leg of the semi-final here. The man in charge comes from Switzerland, Bruno Galla, and Tottenham Hotspur are wearing a pale blue strip and defending the goal to our right. First speed of the ball for Tony Park. And here's Graham Roberts, who is one of nine players on the field who has one yellow card against him. And should he or any of the others gain a second, they would then miss the second leg. Feel for both goalkeepers. Here's Morton Olsen, the Dane. Firm challenge from Roberts. Olsen, who's taken over the captaincy and was, of course, in the Danish team, which made sure that England did not go through to the European Championship finals. Danny Thomas. And the next lineup of eight Belgians and three foreigners. One Dane, one Italian. Here's Galvin. And that was fairly close. And produces the first corner. The Italian is certainly a man to look for. Vincenzo Schifo, who wears number six, only 18, but very highly rated indeed. Not a bad try by Gary Stevens. Alton. He's the Dane. And put under pressure by a Scotsman, Archibald. It's a great. Playing in the centre of the defence, but uh, has just appeared at right back for the Belgian team. Chico. Good. 
cut through. Fast pedaling Roberts across and makes a really good challenge. It's the Dutchman Wim Hopkins who got away. Sent the buzz around the crowd. Capacity 38,000 here. It's a compact little ground. Not all the Tottenham tickets have been taken up. What spaces there are are at the right end. Very nearly got through. Good in. And he got the return. And it was Danny Thomas who put it up. Great. Corner for which the grave has come forward. And the Reichen has come forward. And the header was from Villa. For the top scorer in Europe for Andalek with six goals. Although interestingly enough, if the Carlton had played, it would have been Villa who would not have started. Solidly in by Houston. Stevens. Green. Tigret. Oh. And what a good one. Really But how curious. Anderlecht have been hoping to get him forward on the left flank. And he threatened most when he took a central position and really let go a fine left foot shot. The first ball. Spurs, who's away record in Europe, shows 16 victories, 16 defeats, and six draws. Falco, Hutton. Perhaps was a little late to come forward. Tony Garvin with a corner. Hutton has it if he can turn on it and get a shot in. He can, but he's wide. And he was given the space. And he's a bit cross with himself. Okay. Would have been an almost impossible one for Groom to take anyway. And here's Galvin. Falco Falco. But doesn't make the most of it. And really that came from an awful clearance out of defence by Anderlecht. But as Galvin broke into a lot of space, Falco found a lot of space. And it's to be hoped that Tottenham won't live to regret not taking that opportunity. Come by Vandenberg. Thomas. Good balance by Hopkins. Good in. Olsen. Houston, a judge through a foul thriller. Although he, Nottingham Forest supporters, won't need reminding, was the fellow who went down, which Anderlecht got a vital penalty in the second leg of the semi final. And they pulled back a 2 0 deficit to go through on a 3 2 aggregate. Holton takes. Miller wins. Stevens. Thomas, Chipo. The Corotas got away on the left. Left it away by the hand of Stevens. Then it's in speed just inside the area, as is Brilla on the near side as we look. And the Viking takes the kick. Out by Miller.
Hopkins. And a bit of push and shove between Janiatinsky and Hewton, which Handelek got the free kick. Keeper invited by Morton Olsen to play it straight into the middle. He fails to do, but I think it may be taken again. I would doubt if the defender, who was Tony Garvin, was 10 yards off the ball. Shifo, 18 years old, last February. Been at this club since he was 14. And they're looking a bit for it. And it was Mark Parker who came back. And the Viking goes to take it. Walter de Graaf comes forward. Possibly a four to come on the far post. One player on the near. And Stevens got it away. And again. Archibald. De Greta. You saw the driller. Kenyatinsky decides to go in on the near post. And Danny Thomas does well. Oh. Up to that point he had Chifo deflected and all the sting taken out of it. Initially it looked as though the screen might cause a problem, but it fell very kindly for Park. Has not yet been required to make a save in his 22nd match of the season. Chifo. Offside. Frustration showing all over the face of uh, Gianni Atinsky. Born in Belgium and playing the country of his birth. 14 caps and not his father's country, which is Poland. And the Riken, the flag is up again against Rilla. Frustration from both players and their supporters. Thomas. Robert. Archibald. Hewton. Galvin on the left. Everything else to Hewton's right. She protects his legs. Hewton assists the referee by counting the number of similar challenges made by Shifo. Can't be exaggerated, if truth be told. Perryman takes. Roberts is up at the back. Corner given. Mine's been not too decisive, but the referee was short. Parker, the only Tottenham player in the six-yard box. Archibald moves to join him. Stevens and Robert, 10 and 4 for the diagonal runs. Miller is up as well. Robert. Stevens. Could have gone anywhere, but lands kindly for Munoron. It's Rilla. Well, he was certainly... Looking for that Brilla, nothing like as bad as he made it. Well, I think we'll see that one again. Dikurota. Vandenberg. Chifo. Hopkins. Olsen is included in the Andalek players forward. Shifo, that's an awkward one in his world draft. Came up rather hard and looked likely at the start.
Galvin has it Hopkins Thomas push first as the referee and Chelyatinsky now to this point Danny Thomas has worked pretty much more in the form which put him in the running for England Brilla is offside he curses the linesman and I suspect his own luck. Playing for a place in the Danish squad. His inclusion instead of the Catherine giving the Danes two players on the field. by Farco. Olsen. Watched by Roberts. He surely didn't mean to do that. This is Brilla. What a pace by Paul Miller to cover. I can only think that Roberts felt that he was called because that was quite a deliberate back header which almost got Briller in and Paul Miller moved like grease lightning by Thomas. Erwin Vandenberg. Danny Thomas. Mickey Hazard. Grave. Perryman. Space from Galvin, who came from quite deep. Good climb by Falco. And he was rather closer with that one than he was with an easier chance earlier. Really climbed well. Interesting cross with the right foot. But the height that Falco made and the timing. But it was wide of the far post with Munaron scurrying. Five minutes of the first half remaining. Nil-nil the score. In a contest which will last 180 minutes at least. And the first supporters will be feeling pretty confident at the moment. Up by the grave. Thomas. Good dummy. Four to find, and he found the grave. Four well, one by Hazard, mistake by Chernyatinsky. Nice little ball in. Stevens. Quite a lot to applaud. Chernyatinsky. Shifo. And still, but being forced across. Thomas did well. Positioning tonight has really been first class, Danny Thomas. Sometimes one can accuse him of not being totally aware of what's happening behind him, but that has not been the case this evening. Fender Eichen. Brilla, 
Ginter gets away and fails to control the ball. And what a good job for Tottenham that that was the case. Fine ball by Olsen that had Briller in. Van der Rijken. Tim Hopkins. Schiefo. Too strong for Brille. Okay. Perryman. Sikoreta. Kamiatinski. Referee allowed the advantage if there was a foul there. Miller gets the force again. The referee allows advantage. Sikoreta. Hewton with time to look. And space to clear. I'm kind of whistling the referee, but he certainly allowed the play to flow into the last minute of the first period. Chipo. You can see that Farco was lurking. That's good in. Perryman. Hazard. Van der Rijten. Hopkins. Olsen. Tottenham holding up a line about 25 yards from goal. Reichen, the Grote starts the run in, cut out by Thomas. And the end of a very satisfactory half for Spurs. They really limited Anderlecht to two real strikes on goal, both of them from the Grote, while at the other end, Falco had two headers, first of which he might have made more of, the second of which was a good one, but both going just the wrong side of the far post from his viewpoint. Half time, Anderlecht nil, Tottenham nil. There are similarities between these two teams. Not only do both come from suburbs of their capital cities, but both started the season with big squads, have suffered greatly from injuries, and in the end missed out on their respective championships. Anderlecht about to finish runners-up for the third season running. And a feature of Tottenham's play in the first 45 minutes was the way that they used Gary Stevens wide on the right to prevent De Groeter getting forward from that position. Two shots that he made were both from central positions. I wonder how long it will be if the score stays like this before Paul Van Himst brings on for Calperton. Steve Perriman, only survivor in the Tottenham side from 1972 when Spurs won the first UEFA Cup. And they're playing tonight a side whose record in Europe in recent years is second only to that of Liverpool. This is their sixth European final in 14 years. Liverpool will play their seventh when they meet Roma at the end of the month in the European Cup final. Here is the Spurs playing a Belgian side for the first time in their 10 seasons in European competition. Three kicks against Schutten. Brilla again making a lot of it, though in fairness it should be said that uh, Chris Hewton has made his presence felt. Jenny Atinsky away by Tony Galvin. Chris Stevens. 
Chipo. The poke away was too strong for De Goethe to take. Appears that it's not only in England that we get obscene chants from the crowd because of the colour of a footballer's skin. Here's Chris Hewton. Garvin poised to make the run. Olsen got there first as the ball almost ricocheted to Falco. Dickery. Well, certainly trying to lift their team. And he gets the jump. to Clearest opportunity of the match. With a lovely carving run down the middle. Let's see how many he took on. Got between two, in fact. Just a little touch, took it away from Miller. But the shot was away from the far post. Tony Galvin. Fouled by the Carpenter. Hasn't though quite the pace Tony Galvin that he had before having so many injuries. Got away from Hopkins with a bit of an elbow to be truthful. And the Carpenter brought him down. Tottenham have Falco, Stevens and Roberts on the far post. Comes to Archibald. Corner if it goes. Oh! And here's Falco! Brilliant! That's the line by Grun. Did marvellously well to get back. After the back pass had been made and the goalkeeper had lost the ball and Falco was clear. Turned on it, the ball was going in but Grun came across to cover the error. We've had a real chance at either end. One was missed, one was saved. That was just an unfortunate clash. The Grota reacted rather more strongly than Miller, who was quite calm. And Tottenham had the free kick. Things coughing up in every sense. It in. It's solid shoulder from Falco. Green. Chipo. Away from Hazard. De Greif, De Groote, first time pass intended for Brille, and Brille having a go at Schifo for some reason. Vandenberg, Hazard, Archibald alone, holds it up well. Maybe in the end allowed too many defenders to come back there. Galvin. Three watching him. The Anderlecht players watched the video of the first leg against uh, Heiduk Split and was very impressed with Tony Galvin. Quickly in by Thomas. And a good match. Falco. Archibald waiting on the far side. Thomas once more. Foul by De Groote. And Hazard has five, six now possible heads to look for.
And Munaral taking it full stretch. And I think he was fouled as he came down. His hazard, his free kick goal was vital against Hardwick Split at White Hart Lane. It was well claimed by the goalkeeper and his arms were caught. Olsen. Thomas. Followed up well, did Olsen. Hazard. Archibald. Fouled by Garun. And Olsen in need of attention. And he's not the sort of player to make something out of nothing. The play continues. Here's Danny Thomas. Did he get a deflection? Yes, he did. Miller's up once more, trying to get on the end, and dead! And he got deflected, I think, off uh, Van der Leyten, but even so, it was very, very suddenly met by Paul Miller. And what a prize for Tottenham. Lovely goal by the centre-half. Met it full on the meat of the forehead. Came through the crowd, and it went in with all the power of the shot. Came off the shoulders of Van der Leyten, but it made no difference. And the Tottenham supporters celebrating what is the 100th goal for the club this season and the first by Paul Miller. The thriller is offside. By the all the roars, it will not count. And the spectator to my left, utterly in line. He has any knowledge of football at all, at all will know that that was offside, but still feels he has to stand up and hurl abuse, verbal abuse at the referee. Has it. Hewton. Calvin. Hazard. Galvin. Archibald going to the middle. It really doesn't matter whether it's a free kick or a corner. It certainly will be the free kick. Galvin might not agree with my first assessment because he took the knock. Certainly the challenge was late, and the ankle was caught. Time Roberts comes across, and he's in real trouble from a vicious cross shot from Mickey Hazard. Galvin, Falco, offside, against Archibald. The Catherine's first touch. Fancy Grote. Back to Bill. That's the header by Brilla Wide. Brilla stays down. First touch by Catherine led to the cross. It was a good header, but wide. Archibald nearly, but not quite. Can't go too far. Hazard, Stevens, did well. Looking for Falco, comes to Archibald, Stevens. Still Falco is waiting. Couldn't get real power in the header. Just playing that move by Gary Stevens on two occasions. And Miller having a battle down the middle of the field, which wasn't exactly fifty puffs because it was open gloves, but uh, certainly taking a dislike to each other. Neither scored any points. 
and the referee didn't notice it. Hopkins. Sandenberg jumping rather early. Thomas did well. Hazard. Two further player left down. Archibald. Thomas. And he's onside, is Stephen. Archibald. Got number three players in the box. One of them is Falco. First time with no challenge on him. But in stretching, he got up rather underneath the ball, so he sent it up. Missed it first time. Schiepo. And free kick given against Roberts, who looked at the referee with some concern. The referee taking a rather lenient view of that, in my view. Although I think Parks would have managed to claim the ball anyway before Brilla. Chifo takes, Grin tries to get there. I think pushed his way a bit too much through the crowd. Tottenham expressions. on this near side. I don't know where against Stevens or against Thomas. And the have had Hopkins playing on the right to cut down the room for Galvin. Galvin has had a good match. Keith Birkinshaw on his feet. Thomas. had the evening he might have been expecting but then he's not had the season he might have been expecting either a huge bonus for him he's only played three games before this season started three league games that is ten minutes left between Tottenham and returning to White Hart Lane for the second leg in a fortnight's time leading by an away goal and Gary Mabbott who is to miss the England tour because he needs a hernia operation Come on for the last nine and a bit minutes for this first leg of the FA Cup final in place of Gary Stevens. Presumably, <laughs> Presumably Mabbott will be encouraged to take this often almost right wing position. Stevens has had good challenge. Paul Miller. I remember this game for a long time and was very confident about it beforehand. Shippo. 
De Gruyter. Came off Thomas. Falco. Much of old has been at times a lone figure forward to hold the ball and trying to prevent himself being offside. Here comes Perryman. Falco on the left. Hazard. Oh, Hazard really teased his man and Hopkins came in. Left the space behind himself. Some debate, but it has surely to be the corner. And the late substitution to be made by Anderlecht. The linesman has come to the halfway line, but the referee lined the corner to, to be taken. And now the referee invites Tottenham to do it again when the substitution is made. And it's Vandenberg who is replaced by Frank Anderson. Fine Danish forward who's been so troubled with knee injuries. Archibald in the box, there's Roberts. Came off Morton Olsen, another corner. Perryman. And the Gerrita just happy to bang it into the crowd. Has a take. Robert. Or was it blocked? Actually couldn't see because somebody walked right in front of it. Offside decision against Archibald. And we on getting some applause from the Tottenham supporters for a good stop. Hopkins. Now going the ball would find Archibald if it was played early. Tottenham preparing to build on the left through Tony Galvin. Hopkins with him. Hazard. Hewton. Peter Berkenshaw was concerned before the match that uh, the side wouldn't be pulled about by the fact that Anderlecht are very adept at changing the positions. And it has been Tottenham who have often got defenders into interesting forward positions. And have tacitly controlled it by the way that they use Stevens and now Mavitt on this right side. The Calvin and Struth, Miller and Roberts together. Oh, acting very quickly as the ball got away the Calterans free kick headed out and as Park couldn't hold the shot Olsen was able to tap it in What score? Olsen with one firecracker on the pitch on the far side there.
Chifo. Arneson. Quillo waiting in the middle. Still Arneson. Perriman concedes what he thought was a corner. But the referee has given a goal kick. Well, I think both the Tottenham skipper and Frank Arneson thought that was a corner, but the referee thought otherwise. Handball given against Galvin. Miller. Thomas. The grave. Offside against Archibald. Reichen, the Calvin, for the challenge again by Thomas. And the referee says it's Tottenham's wall. Hazard. Murray to come forward. Two minutes on our stopwatch. <laughs> useful throw. Falco. Mabbott. Somehow managed to get it away from the defensive header, the defensive header. Kick across the box. Arneson. And Van der Rijken not alive to the possibilities. Arneson has been a threat since he came on. minute of the match. Hazard. Tony Park, who lost the shot from some distance from Morton Olsen right on the spot to make him pay. Perryman. Hewton. Archibald Hazard right, He was looking for the free kick when he could have carried on Perriman carried on Archibald and 1-1 one, one. It's the final score in this first leg. The goals, four minutes, first of the season, and Tottenham's 100th in the 59th minute. The equaliser from Morton Olsen, five minutes from time. But every prospect of Tottenham Hotspur ending the eight-year reign of their manager, Keith Birkinshaw, in style. In theory, of course, they have the away goal, but there's no way that Tottenham will be playing for nil-nil at White Hart Lane in a fortnight's time. They will want to win the Europa Cup for the second time in their history in real style.